This video, by its very nature, contains profanity. If you are a child, or act like a child, please do not allow this video to make an impression on your growing brain. If you're a potential employer, please pretend you didn't hear any of the dialogue in this video and hire me, please. Thanks. Hi, I'm Noah, and like a lot of people, I'm starting to get a little fed up with the absolutely amazing awesomeness of this year. I mean, it's just so gobsmackingly great, I don't know how any other year in the future is going to be able to compete. 2020 has been an awful year for all of us, and I've been looking for a better way to express my frustration whenever I look at anything that comes on the news. So I'm going to be making a button. Um, think of like the staples, that was easy, button, except it's going to say something more like, that was shitty, or it's just going to let out a disappointing, fuck. Uh, so I'm going to get started by 3D printing the shell of the button. Um, I will link my STL files below if you want to make one for yourself. Yeah, I don't get why everyone complains about print times. My printer is super fast. I mean, this model was done within seconds. So to add some springiness to the button, I'm going to be adding a foam gasket around the uh, edge, which will hopefully give it some more tactile feedback. Uh, that feels sufficiently satisfying. So my plan for the actual functionality of the button is to add uh, electrical contacts to the underside of the dome and to the top of the brim on the shell. That way when the button is pressed, they will touch and short the circuit. I'm going to be doing this with copper tape because it is easy to apply and was near me when I thought of the idea. So here I am testing it to check if the springitude is sufficiently squishy. And it turns out that it is in fact too springy and the contacts do not touch when the button is pressed. After replacing the foam ring with two small pads, it works like a charm. Now for the guts of the button. I'm going to be using an ISD1820 voice recorder module due to its compact size and low price. I rigged it up to a small speaker and I snipped the PCB corners to make sure it fits inside the shell. After trying to record my voice, however, the voice recorder just decided to stop working altogether, which is definitely not at all my fault. So I decided to teach it a little lesson to make sure it never betrays me again. I'm not sure it fully learned its lesson after the car, so I grabbed a good old Canadian baseball bat and took a couple swings at it to make sure the job was done. Anyways, so the replacement board showed up in the mail, and after showing it what happened to its predecessor, it assured me it wouldn't make any mistakes. This one is slightly different to the last one, however the electronics inside it are the same. After quickly soldering the included speaker to the board, I gave it a quick test. Fuck. and the new board worked perfectly.
However, now my copper tape contacts decided they too would not work, so I ripped them out and replaced them with an aluminum sheet. I then drilled a hole in the case for power as I decided not to use batteries, and the power cables fit in the hole perfectly. After giving it a quick test, it works well, although it's a little muffled, so in future I would probably use a higher powered soundboard or make some holes in the dome so that the sound would better escape. But this board took over a month to get here, so for now a quiet button will just have to do. Let's give it a facelift! So here it is, in all its finished glory. So whenever 2020 gets me down from now on, I'll just be a button press away from feeling better. Now that I've solved 2020, and I guess it'd be fair to say I've solved the feeling of sadness in general with this button, feel free to check out the video where I solve COVID. It will be linked somewhere. If anyone from Dragon's Den is watching, I'll be accepting bids on my product. I estimate a good deal will be about $10 million for a 1% stake in my company. If you want to download my STL files or check out the parts I used to make this, check out the video description. If you hated this video, go build us a fuck button so you can properly express that. And if you want to see more crappy inventions made by someone who wouldn't know a bad idea if it shot them in the face with a metric ton of hand sanitizer, you can subscribe to the channel. Anyways, have a great day and thanks so much for watching.